to everyone and thank you for being here and it's very very just cause that you are participating in to oppose a very unjust situation where uh, people are making money off the misery of immigrant children uh, people that are uh, benefiting not just the people that are going to make the money here uh, by opening this center which we have strongly strongly oppose but it's feeding into the whole uh, federal agenda, the Trump agenda of, uh, of creating more hatred for the immigrants, of dividing the families, of building prisons, of trying to build walls, which we, the community, uh, need to stop. I know, I know that it's not like the press sometimes says that the votes are in for, for this administration. I believe still that most people believe in America, believe in freedom, believe in the right of free speech, and we need to have people to work in the fields, to work in the factories. The immigrants are the ones that have built this nation, and those people that are now calling us immigrants are immigrants themselves. People that came after we were here. We have been here since the beginning since the country of the United States was formed. And if we have any people that are Native American here, don't forget, this is our land. The immigrants are the others. They cannot label us immigrants in our own country, in our own continent. This is just wrong. It's wrong and it's only wrong because people are trying to make money either by these detention centers uh, or other ways to exploit our labor at a lower rate. So thank you for being here. Thank you for coming. And we got to find a solution to this problem, which nobody wants to say it, but we really just need uh, immigration reform. We need a legal process. Everybody that's here will want to come here legally, but we are not allowed. They always say we're coming here illegally and not waiting in line. What they don't tell you is that nobody qualifies. Nobody tells you there is no process in place by which people can apply. That's why people are coming across the border because there is no legal process. And one of the main things for these centers to exist where they're gonna hold people for four, five, six months, perhaps longer, under who knows what terrible conditions, they're not telling you that they're right now trying to get rid of the florist decision, which the court said people and children should not be held in the detention center more than 20 days. They're trying to get rid of that so these kind of centers can spring up throughout the country. So please be aware of that. Thank you for being here. We're going to have several speakers here to address this issue. Uh, Gloria, por favor. Um, 